And now the attention switches to the far side of the arena. This is athletics showbiz style. The final of the men's four by 100 meter relay. What a climax to the penultimate night of action here in the bird's nest. Jamaica in four. The defending champions, the Olympic champions. Can the Americans do anything to tackle their long established dominance? Well, listen to this noise. Setting an Asian record this morning to qualify. Here come China. An incredible reception for Mo, Zi, Su, and Xiang. Then to the German quartet. Julian Reyes, Sven Nipals, Alexander Kosenkow, Alex Platini Menga. The crowd really getting in the spirit of this climax to day eight. Posing for the photographs that will long be remembered. Great Britain, Richard Kilty, Danny Talbot, James Ellington, CJ Uja has come in on the anchor leg. 9.96 last season and this season. Don't go too far, boys. Fingers crossed. What a talented quartet from the United States. Trayvon Brumell, Justin Gatlin, double silver behind Bolt, Tyson Gay, Mike Rogers. Will Rogers get anywhere close to Usain Bolt? Will they have an advantage? Will Gatlin finish up with a third silver here in Beijing? Or will there be baton problems? The French won the world title back in Helsinki. Emmanuel Biron, Christophe Lemaitre, he'll go down the back straight. Anumont and then Jimmy Vico, a brilliant anchor leg in the semi-final from the joint European champion. Vico, last to get to the uh, photograph position. And here they come, the rock stars of the sprint relay world. And their front man is Bang On Song here in Beijing. Carter, Powell, Ashmead, Bolt. What can the Americans or anyone else do to stop them? Is it destined to be Jamaica's night once again? That is an awesome, awesome lineup. Canada. A great quartet from the North American nation. Aaron Brown, Andre de Grasse, joint bronze in the 100 meters. Brendan Rodney and then Justin Warner on the anchor leg. Got a bronze in 2013. They're a really classy act, the uh, Canadians. Nice pose, boys. Are you going to be as slick out there on the track? Antigua and Barbuda start on the inside. Shevan Walsh, Daniel Bailey, he just missed a medal in uh, Berlin six years ago. Jared Jarvis and Miguel Francis on the anchor leg. Great to see one of the smaller Caribbean islands represented. And let's not forget, St. Kitts and Nevis ended up with a bronze in Daegu after all sorts of baton problems for some of the bigger nations. Antigua and Barbuda, Canada, Jamaica, France, United States, Great Britain, Germany, and of course, China on the outside. The crowd, most of them already standing. There's an incredible noise here in the bird's nest. And there is the big man. Well, the markers are being put down. The athletes come out. The check box that the baton has to be passed in between. You count back, we call them pigeon steps. It may be 15, it may be 20. Depends how fast you are and how fast you're gonna come in and how brave you are in terms of stretching check marks as well to get the speed of the baton going through. So you put your tape on the track and that is all you look at in terms of when your incoming runner is coming. Asafa Powell putting his tape down, Peter. 
that's the mark for the next few minutes that he'll be looking at and nothing else. And the Jamaicans have the same team as they had one in 2013, with just one exception, and that is that they brought in Asafa Powell instead of Kamar Bailey Cole. That doesn't hurt them at all. And also, you look back through the history books, Bolt is the only ever present from their World Championship quartet from Osaka, Berlin, Daegu and Moscow. Yes, he's bidding for his fourth successive uh, four-by-one uh, one-lap relay title in the world. Powell was uh, on the uh, team back in 2007, so was Bolt, so was Carter. Listen to the noise here in the stadium. They're calling out for their homegrown heroes. This is about as loud as we've ever heard the crowd here over the last eight days. What a backdrop and what an energy here in the Olympic Stadium. They're still prowling around, going through their final preparations. The back straight, Asafa Powell, the fourth fastest in history against Jutland, Justin Gatlin, the double silver medalist. Mike Rogers on the anchor leg. There is tension in the face of the diminutive American. He knows. It could be very, very tough against Usain Bolt. And still, the noise is endless. I'm the man, says Usain Bolt. Let's just remind ourselves, 16 global gold medals, 10 world championships, six Olympics. Gatlin, the double silver medalist over one and 200 meters. China being introduced to the crowd, the Jamaican women waiting and watching and hoping that their male counterparts will once again bring home the gold. Antigua and Barbuda in two, Canada three, Jamaica four, France five, USA six, Great Britain seven, Germany eight, China on the outside in nine. This is the final of the men's four by 100 meters. Jamaica against the USA Eight of the most talented sprinters we've ever seen. But is there anything they can do to deny Usain Bolt yet another golden moment in this stadium that he's already made so famous? Even in the commentary box, our pulses are racing. Incredible tension here in the stadium. This is the arena, the arena where history is made. Great start there from Nesta Carter. What will Asafa Powell do on the second leg? Gatlin's got a lead. Asafa Powell needs to close this down. The Americans are ahead towards the halfway stage. Clean changeovers for both. This is going to be tight. The Americans are up front. Usain Bolt needs to produce the magic. USA, Usain Bolt. Oh, and there's a baton nightmare there for the Americans. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. Bolt for Jamaica, USA the silver. And amazingly, amazingly, the Chinese have taken the bronze medal. It all went wrong for the Americans on the last changeover. It was fantastic down the back straight. Justin Gatlin pulled away from a Sapper Powell, but on the anchor leg, Mike Rogers had a nightmare. Jamaica, 37.36, the United States, 37.77, and China, as I thought, came home for the bronze medal. Wow, if the atmosphere before this race was exciting, it's absolutely electrified now. The Jamaicans were not to be denied, but Rogers will have nightmares about that changeover. Wow. The final that had everything, the fastest men, some good changes, some bad changes. Great Britain and Northern Ireland didn't finish. What an absolute mixture and melting pot of sprinting and relay magic and disaster. The last leg, Steve Obet. Mike Rogers, you said, Rob, he looked nervous, 
on that final leg before they were lining up. He just, oh, he's he on the just, big screen. He just tensed up. You've got to feel sorry for him. The pressure was just too much. That was their opportunity to put Bolt under pressure. That was their opportunity to win the title for the first time since 2007. Bolt would have had an awful lot to do on that anchor leg, but in the end, they handed it to the Jamaicans on a plate with that disastrous changeover from three to four. That's Great. what it's about. That's, that's what it's that's all it. about, isn't it? That's exactly right. It is, it's under pressure, you've got to perform. This man does exactly that. Great performance from the Chinese team, though. Marvels to see them come through for that bronze medal. They just can't believe it. Well, as I said, that last changer. Well, you've got to feel sorry for Mike Rogers. He just didn't handle the pressure well. Tyson Gay come into him, and it was all over the place, really. They lost, what, five or six metres, maybe, in that one mix-up. Gatlin ran really, really well on the back straight, and bearing in mind how dominant Asafa Powell was in the semi-final, that was a great, great leg from the American silver medalist in the 100 metres. The platform was there, Rogers froze and couldn't finish. And we should say a huge congratulations to the Chinese. Needed an Asian record to get into the final. These four guys will be the poster boys of China at the end of this championship. That was a magnificent performance from them, especially to deny such a talented quartet from Canada. Well, the crowd have had an absolute treat, haven't they? <laughs> They're all singing, the flags are out, but the Jamaicans, they came and delivered. Some couldn't have scripted it better. A goal for the big man, a third gold in this championships and a four by one medal for China. Look at the atmosphere around and how much it means to those guys. They've done it again, but how much closer would it have been if Mike Rogers had got the baton, even, even on an average changeover, Bolt would have had a lot to do there. But as you say, Catherine, you've experienced sprint relays. The baton exchanging is a huge, huge part of the story and a huge part of the journey. And they will know they've missed an opportunity tonight. It's not always the four fastest guys that win. I alluded back to the Athens 2000 four Olympics when Great Britain and Northern Ireland pipped the Americans for four by one relay gold. Nowhere near as fast as them individually. But that's what happens. You'd have to talk to Mike Rogers about running against the big man. It must do things to you that you don't want to happen. And that relay changeover. Oh, gosh. Well, could you imagine, Catherine, if you're in the relay team and you think, well, am I going to get that last leg against Usain Bolt? You think, <laughs> that's the short straw, isn't it? It brings its own form of pressure, doesn't it? Well, but it's good to see the Americans smiling. They know the mistakes were made, but it's another medal for Justin Gatlin and another one for the USA in four by 100 meter relay running. And if we look at the medal table now, coming into that, both Jamaica and USA had five gold. Jamaica are ahead now. And talking about the gold medal tally, let's just remind ourselves, Usain Bolt has secured treble gold now at five major championships three golds in beijing in 2008 in berlin in 2009 in london in 2012 in moscow in 2013 and here once again in beijing the only place he hasn't done it he picked up a mere two golds after the false start in the 100 meters 17 major global titles catherine take us through these exchanges and these moments look at justin gatlin it was a high hand and a good take by Tyson Gay. Asafa Powell had run a good run down the back straight to be fair for Jamaica. But look at Tyson Gay on the left shouting, hand, hand, put your arm up. Now, breaking news here. We are just hearing that the American quartet may well have been disqualified. That puts China up to second. Canada get the bronze. And you would think it must have something to do with Mike Rogers being out of the changeover position on that anchor leg. I'm not sure they realise yet because you can just see them there alongside the Jamaicans who are still celebrating. They're still waving the flags and I don't think the American quartet realise yet. 
It hasn't been put up on the big screen in the stadium. And of course, that's going to promote the Chinese from bronze to silver. The Canadians realize they are now the World Championship bronze medalists, just as they were two years ago in Moscow. Let's take a closer inspection here, Catherine, and see if we can confirm where the infringement came. It must have been the last leg into Rogers, surely. We have to get the bat on between the check marks and the guys below us now, the USA team. The news is coming through to them. I'm looking at Mike Rogers' feet. I'm looking at his feet. Keep an eye on that solid line there. He's out. It looks like he's over the end of the box in terms of that changeover zone. For our listeners and viewers, code 170.7 is the reason that they've been disqualified. I'm sure we have viewers around the world who will know what that means. But that's the reasoning why they've been DQ'd on our system. And they're literally about 30 or 40 meters below us. There they are. Look at Mike Rogers' face. Oh, gosh. He quite shyly and little embarrassingly scrumples back up the stars and stripes of the USA flag. But the Canadians, as you say, Rob, upgraded to bronze at this moment in time with 38.13 seconds. China in the silver with 38.01. And I'm sure there potentially may be a protest by the USA team if they decide to pay the money to have one. But they may look at the evidence and have it confirmed and just accept it's just gone. That's a nightmare for Rogers. It's one thing to potentially cost them a gold or the chance of a gold, quite another to deny the whole quartet a moment on the podium and a world championship silver medal. That is a disastrous end. He's a great sprinter. He's been a brilliant ambassador for American 100 meter running, but that's a nightmare. Catherine, bottom left. Bottom left, check the yellow line that goes across the lane. The baton has to be in Mike Rogers' hand before he exits that zone. Ah, they, they might protest this, you know, because technically the baton's passed over from Tyson Gay to Mike Rogers. But does Gay drop back? He looks about a metre out of the box at least for me and yeah. i said earlier on our tv commentary didn't i guys that it's the incoming runner's responsibility to hand the bat on over it is but if the outgoing runner goes off too early because he's nervous excited or goes out too quickly then it's not his fault at all if tyson gay couldn't catch him no he's got that well outside the box no question about it i think he got so carried away with trying to get a good uh, start because Bolt was there, he just went up too fast. Tyson couldn't catch him. It happens. That's why Tyson Gay was shouting. When the race was run, I thought Tyson Gay's running a little bit further down the track than he normally does. I know why now, because he couldn't catch him. Oh, gosh. An absolute disaster for the USA. Their championship started badly, didn't it? On the sixth day, they only had one gold medal with Joe Kovacs. He's picked up slightly, of course. But now, on the penultimate day of this evening session, they're four by one relay men who well, had won seven titles in the past. Sorry, Catherine, just to bring you back there, that's the, that's the mistake of the British team on the outside of them as well. They, they were out of the box just as well as the, uh, the Americans on that changeover. Well, as Peter Matthews mentioned, they brought in CJ Uja onto the last leg. Maybe a bit of nerves from the young Britain has caused them to be disqualified, disqualified as well, but rules them rules. Yeah, and he hasn't got the same experience as the squad that they ran in the heat. That's what's, uh, I mean, it's a risk. So you bring in a faster man, but you disrupt a tried and proven team. And that's the balance you have to get in four by one relays in particular. You either stick with what you know and therefore potentially capitalize on other people's mistakes to get medals, or you make the changes and throw the kitchen sink at it and hope for the best. Well, the Americans were watching pretty much the same footage that we saw at exactly the same time. Their faces, a picture of disappointment and frustration. And what we saw from the Chinese quartet, Xu Apart, who made the final and ran 9.99, he's cracked the big barrier this year. That's a quartet, not necessarily of the highest calibre, but that's a quartet brilliantly drilled and used to working together. And that has brought them, well, it did bring them in terms of crossing the line of bronze, and it turns out that's brought them a silver medal. You don't necessarily have to be the quickest, you have to be the best well-drilled team to finish on that podium. You do indeed. 
Oh, I see. There was a little bit of a stumble there, wasn't there, between Asifa Pau and Nicol Ashmead. But Ashmead ran a super bend, as did Tyson Gay. He flew around that top bend. Well, we know about the Americans. Just watch the Brits yep. just outside of them now. They don't even get close Uja's to one another. gone way too soon. Way too soon. Not even getting the baton at all. Look. Nowhere close. Disaster for them. Well, James Ellington in the background there. I know him very well. He's not going to take that very well. No. He threw the baton in the air. He's going to be absolutely livid. And all the boys, of course, will be disappointed with what's happened there on the final leg. But in contrast, the big man. It, it, all it just doesn't end. He just carries on gold after gold. And well done to Jamaica. It all happened behind him. And once again, he finishes Beijing with treble gold as he did in 2008. 17 global gold medals. Well, smiles and celebrations for the Jamaicans. Another brilliant title for the Jamaicans. China the silver, Canada the bronze, and the United States disqualified.